Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is going to give you the main three reasons why golfers top the golf ball and what you can do to improve that and never hit a top again. Stay tuned to find out more. As mentioned, today's video is all going to be about topping the golf ball. So what do we mean by topping the golf ball? Quite literally, it is that the golf club is actually striking too high up on the golf club. So rather than getting that ball contact that we really want to see where it's ball turf, we're actually getting the leading edge of the golf club too high up here. We strike nearer the equator of the golf ball and the ball rolls along the, the ground. It doesn't get up in the air. Now it's a horrible shot to see, unless the conditions are really firm and dry and rolling and the rough isn't very long, then we're gonna lose all our distance from it as well. So it's a very destructive shot, it's a terrible one to hit. Uh, we're going into winter time and actually if you do that when it's cold, God, those fingers end up hurting. So these three reasons I see golfers top the golf ball and what you can do about it. So number one, uh, and actually, I'm going to disperse a myth first before we go into number one. So I would say most amateur golfers think they top the golf ball because they're looking up. And that is absolute garbage. And I know I've talked about that before, but I still hear it day in, day out on the driving range. Golfers telling other golfers, you topped it because you looked up. And it's rubbish. It's absolute garbage. So they all think they're doing this too early. And then you get loads of golfers trying to keep their head down with very little rotation. And that really doesn't help. So let's get on to really why you do top the golf ball. One reason can be too much height gain in the backswing. Now, a little height gain is fine, as long as on the downswing, we actually get back to where we were. But the ideal would be for us to maintain our levels on the backswing. So we're trying to maintain our levels, our spine angle here, keep our head in position. So we'd want our head on this front line and on this top line, and we're rotating around our spine angle as much as possible. We don't want to see uh, too much height gain in the backswing. So what golfers often don't get enough of is this left shoulder, this lead shoulder. So for me as a right-handed golfer, it is my left working down underneath their chin. So this lead shoulder, and again, I have talked about it before, but it's a really important point, should go downwards by four inches. So my lead shoulder moves down, my trail shoulder moves up for me to maintain my spine angle. Too many golfers, are getting this sort of movement where their lead shoulder is pointing up in the air. So simply putting that club across your shoulders and just doing some coiling exercises, feeling this lead shoulder move down is great. And then put it into a golf swing. So hold the golf club correctly and try and get again that feeling of this lead shoulder moving more down underneath your chin. Point number two for topping a golf ball is what I'd refer to as a, as a reverse pivot or you could think of it as just the wrong pressure shift. So this is where golfers on their backswing are actually setting that too much pressure onto their lead leg and then on the downswing, they're trying to compensate. So the issue with golfers being over here ahead of the golf ball is they will try to back up on the downswing, otherwise they're gonna take huge divots and they're gonna flight it really low, they're gonna deloft all their clubs, they would really struggle with the woods. So often we see golfers hanging too much onto their front foot here, onto their lead side, and then they're backing up through the golf ball. Now, you do see some elite golfers who will stay very centered with their turn here, but they are not moving their head towards the target on the backswing here. So they might stay very centered. They may even have a little bit more pressure onto this lead side. They can get away with it as long as they've got very good rotational speeds and rates here. But the majority of us need to feel like we actually turn a little bit more behind the golf ball to apply the pressure correctly into our trail foot on the backswing. So at the top of the backswing, I'm really feeling as I make that movement and coil up correctly, I'm feeling a good 80% onto my trail foot. That means now I can start to shift my pressure towards my lead side. So we're trying to get our pressure from to our back foot and then to our front foot in the golf swing. So when you're doing the exercise feeling 
that left shoulder, that lead shoulder working downwards. So that's point number one. You can combine that with point number two. So you can get that lead shoulder moving down and that pressure really into that trail leg here. Once I've got it into that trail side, I can start to shift my pressure forwards into this full follow through that we really want to see rather than a reverse pivot where my pressure's hanging on my lead side and then starting to back up. Now, the reason that can cause a top is when I'm backing up, I'm either going to hit the ground really early and catch it heavy or fat, but often the compensation will be the club misses the ground. We start pulling up and we strike the equator of the ball. It's a bit like a pilot landing a plane. If you're coming down to vertical into the runway, at some point you will stand up and lean back to try and stop that club crashing into the ground or the plane crashing into the runway and we top it. So reverse pivot, bad weight shift you could think of it, or pressure shift would be point number two. Point number one was that gain in height on the back swing, that lead shoulder not moving down enough. Point number three is really to do with impact and the follow through. So it's golfers that don't extend their arms enough as they're rotating their body. So what we tend to see with that style of player is their arms inwards towards their body looking very cramped here and their chest and their body and their head hasn't rotated towards the target. So they're the sort of player that would be thinking about keep your head down. So when they're trying to keep their head down, they under rotate, their arms are pulling into, inwards towards their body, they shorten this radius and they quite often top it. So what we really want to try and do is allow my head, allow my chest, allow my hips to rotate and try and extend my arms. A great drill for that is just grabbing a heavy club or maybe a couple of clubs together. This can be detrimental to speed because it is quite heavy but as an extension exercise, it's great to just feel like we're gonna throw those clubs away. So we're creating rotation and real extension into this finished position here. So we can go heavy, we could even have the club just the wrong way around, one hand only. And again, really get that feeling that we're gonna create the whip from rotating our chest and extending our arms that we really want to try and feel. So point number one, reasons we top the golf ball would be too much height gain here, this lead shoulder moving up. Point number two would be a reverse pivot. So poor pressure shift. And point number three is a lack of rotation where we start to see these arms move inwards. So we want to try and create some more extension and rotation. So I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and just hit a couple get that ball turf concept that we're really looking for. So this lead shoulder is going to move under my chin, the pressure is going to be onto my trail foot, and I'm going to try and create some really good extension. Obviously, we don't need to work on all of these. We need to know where your fault lies, and then you can work on that specific part there. Let me give it a go. I've just got a seven iron here. That felt right out the center of the golf club, ball turf contact that we really wanted to see. I felt like I got this lead shoulder moving under my chin in the backswing. I applied the pressure towards my trail foot and I created some good extension. Let me hit one last one for us. Again, ball, turf contact, similar distance, another fairway found, given I wouldn't normally hit a seven iron off this tee, but I got that real feeling of those three points there, this lead shoulder moving down, the pressure into my trail foot. I definitely created extension through the ball. I was not trying to keep my head down. I know if you've been struggling topping the golf ball, how destructive that is. Learn which of these three you do, take it to the driving range, practice it. Don't listen to keep your head down comments. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy this content. If you did find it helpful, please comment below. Any videos you'd like me to see, uh, see me film, make sure you comment also below and subscribe to the channel. It's for free, new content every week, and uh, it's the best way to stay in touch and show your support for the True Golf Academy.
Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.